Hi everyone. So the Amorphophallus peonifolius finally opened and I just wanted to show you it. Here it is. Now, this is not the Amorphophallus titanum, which has the very large inflorescence. This one has a much shorter uh, stout inflorescence, but it's still incredibly showy. Um, it is putting off an odor and that odor is used to attract flies and uh, that like smelly thing. So the odor isn't incredible right now. I'm getting whiffs of it here and there. Uh, so this is an, in the aeroid family and it is an inflorescence and we can't call this a single flower because it's made up of hundreds of individual flowers. So I'm going to zoom in closer here. You can see the first day or two it's open. It is acting as a female and you can see the female flowers are lower down and then it will become a male, and those are the male flowers right there. Um, and this way, it's not acting as a male and female at the same time, it won't pollinate itself, so it has a, uh, wants to get its genetics out there. Um, so that's why we can't say it's a individual flower, it's an inflorescence, which is a cluster of flowers. So like a calla lily, it has the same structure. You have the uh, spathe, which is this modified leaf here, and the spadex right here, and this top part is what's gonna emit the stench. So I'm gonna back up a little bit, and you can see right there. It's only gonna last a few days, um, and then it dies down, and when it dies down, it's gonna go dormant, and it'll be like nothing is in the pot. Now, um, right by it, right here, that is one single leaf of the Titan Arum, the Amorphophallus Titanum. And so that's the one that puts the big giant inflorescence out. That's anywhere from three to six feet. Um, both have underground stem structures called corms, and they're basically a large storage container of starch and energy. So they want to be buried. So of course, you know, we love potatoes and animals want to eat things full of starch and energy. So that's why it's buried. They actually do grow this one as a uh, crop and they harvest the corms. It's called, I think the elephant foots yam or um, yeah, I think that's what they call it. So this is native to most tropical places, India, Southeast Asia, um, they even say it grows in Africa. It won't grow outside where it gets cold. Of course, it's tropical, but there it is there. I'll show you another Titan Arum leaf. So this whole leaf here will last anywhere from 12 to 14 months and the leaf completely dies down. And you could see the giant pot that we have this in. Hopefully we'll get a bloom. Now it's not so much that the corm is uh, deep, it's just a wide squat corm, so you need a deeper pot. Um, so it's unfortunate that we're closed when this is blooming because it's quite interesting to see and we'd love to show it off. So hopefully this is helping. But there you go, I'm glad it's finally opened. And like I said, the stench isn't at its peak right now. But it's, uh, it'll get there in a little bit. It just opened up this morning, so thanks.